your altar, tend your mind with radiant thoughts born of the Christ. David, is it necessary to read the chorus from cover to cover? Or, you know, to go to a certain section or no, it's actually, it all depends on the, on the readiness of the mind. Like we have, we have now coming on the planet, symbolically, um, crystal children. Uh, we, have, we have those that are reflecting higher and higher states of mind. And I actually had a course group one time where a young man, a teenager, came into the course group. It was at a place called Whatever Works Wellness Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I had my class, like, I think on Monday, and I, I stopped by late in the week. And uh, the man who owned the shop and the woman who owned the shop were terrified when this teenager came into their, their wellness center. Why were they so terrified? It's because he was like an advanced, no people pleasing, no private thoughts. He was in such a high state of awareness. His mother studied the course, but he did not. So... He came in, and he, they were going through some funky things in their mind, and he came in and walked up to them just like Jesus, and he read their minds completely. He looked at them, and he said, Why are you thinking this and this and this? As Vince, his eyes got big, and he was horrified that he thought he was in his private little hell there, like human beings do, and then this teenager comes up and completely reads his mind. And he was frightened, and then his partner was a little frightened, and they, all they could say is, Come back on Monday night, and David does his course group. Kind of like this, go. It was too frightening, this idea. He was reading their minds. So then he came to the course group, and I welcomed him in, I invited him in, and he went around the whole course group and read everyone's mind, thoughts, thought by thought in the whole group, and the course group was scared. They all were frightened by this guy. And I was like saying, wait a minute, this is, this is, you should be grateful. <laughs> this kid is here. He's like a demonstration of showing you where this is going. You know, it's, you don't, this is like a guest appearance on The Tonight Show. You know, it's like, <laughs> well, we got Ramon and Harshi tonight. Hey, you know, come on in and, and help us, show us the, some of the peace. Or Dalai Lama or, or whatever. So, they were still frightened. And I talked a little bit to try to just say, this be cool here. You know, this is, this is he's not reading the course, but he's, he's, he's here for all of us. In a, in a great example, and then I, I talked to him a bit, and I said, I talked to him about joining and everything, and he went, he got it, you know, he would feel how, how frightened the, the group was, so he left, he left the group, he went out, and he got a scrapbook of pictures of him with butterflies all over his body, a whole scrapbook of pictures of him with butterflies all over his body, and he brought that in, and he passed around his picture book, and everybody relaxed. Everybody loved it. Everybody saw these butterflies all over this kid and they went, hey, a kid must be okay if he's got <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> you know, they were just afraid that, why are we afraid of people reading our thoughts except if there's a fear that it could be misused? Like, uh oh, all the family secrets <laughs> are gone. My, the number to my safe. <laughs> you know, you can see where the fear comes in out of protectionism. And when they saw him with butterflies all over his body, we had a party. You see how the Holy Spirit used a different angle to, to come in. The reading, the thoughts was too direct, but the, the butterflies were. So, yes, in answer to your question, yeah, I've met many people who, who need not read uh, the Course cover to cover. Um, for many who, who are Course students, um, I would say that they not only read the book cover to cover, but they, they actually do it many times. Um, you know, because they keep finding gems and jewels, and it keeps helping them and nurturing. That's what, like David was saying when he said, I was reading this in the Course. People turn to it more and more, oftentimes. Maybe they don't read it, you know, from cover to cover in a kind of a, a chronological way, but they will use it as an oracle. Oftentimes, I, I find that people do that with the workbook lessons after they've worked through them, that the workbook and the course becomes more like a, like an I Ching, or it's like a, an oracle that, that offers them inspiration to, to go on with their practice.
Yeah.